Hey everybody, so this is just going to be a very quick video. This is me asking for help and to let you know what I have done to remedy the situation. Uh, I'm going to try to provide as much info as I can as quick as possible. So the footage that you are seeing right here is of my 30 gallon tank. It is housing uh, roughly, I want to say 12 to 15 neon tetras. I don't remember and it's hard to count them because they move around so fast and it's heavily planted. I also have four White Cloud Mountain Minnows. One is not doing so well and I'm worried that I'm probably going to be losing him uh, within the day. Um, I have three female betta who do really well together and I have one koi angel who is in here growing out. Um, so with that I am trying to identify what the illness is on these neon tetra. You can really see it there. Uh, the White Clouds seem to have it too. I can't tell, the betta look fine to me, so does the koi angel. I don't notice anything on them, and it's really hard to tell because, you know, they're so colorful at times and they tend to change colors, so I, at the moment, they look fine. They're active, eating, normal behavior. Most of the tetras, same normal behavior, and the white clouds as well, besides the one that's not doing so hot. So with the help of my friend Michaela, who I've been talking to, I, we've been exchanging emails and I've uh, been sending uh, her pictures of the fish, trying to identify what uh, the issues may be. So with the symptoms that the fish are displaying, there are three illnesses that we uh, immediately uh, identified. That was Costia um, and Velvet, which are both protozoan-like. Uh, parasites, um, similar to ick, I do believe. Um, again, I have never actually had to deal with this, so it's hard for me to uh, diagnose and identify if it's actually this. There's also the um, growths on the neon tetras, which make me think it might be neon tetra disease, but then why are the white clouds uh, behaving this way and showing uh, symptoms of being ill as well? So. Um, that's why my first guess was some kind of parasite like that. Um, it also could be a fungal or bacterial infection for all I know. I I don't know. This has been extremely frustrating and I almost didn't want to make this video and just see if I could handle it on my own, but I could really use some help and advice. So what I have done so far is I have been doing a blackout regiment for the last couple days. Um, I have also done a significant water change on the tank. Um, I've also cut it with a little bit of RO water in hopes of lowering my general hardness and TDS, which were getting a little high, so I'm sure that probably didn't help anything stressing the fish out. Um, so, um, and I'm going to get into all that later. I have been doing a lot of reading on that, and I have been concerned that my water is just too hard. Uh, most of my other fish I don't have a problem with, so I don't know why it's this, this tank, so I'm trying to keep anything that I use for this tank separated and sterilized. The only thing I have been doing is I started a treatment of Paragard. Oh, and I have a, I've raised the temperature up to roughly 80, 81. It, it's getting up there. I tried to set it to 84, but it, it's really slow, so um, I have been raising the temperature. Uh, I also added some salts. I don't really care if it kills the plants at this point. I just want the fish to live. Um, but I mean, I've added salts in the past and the plants are fine. So most of the time it's not that big a deal. But, um, so I'm doing all these things in an attempt to help cure for a specific treatment or specific illness. Again, I don't know what I'm dealing with here. So, uh, any advice, input, you guys have would be fantastic. Uh, thank you, and I appreciate all of your uh, input and help.